All right. Good afternoon. And welcome to the Gift from God Worship Center here at 24 Colonial Downs Place in Alberta, Virginia. We are blessed to be here on this afternoon, and we are blessed to have you in attendance with us, and we are blessed for the Lord God Almighty, who still rules in the kingdom of men. All right, it is Sunday, the second Sunday of October, and we are so excited about all the things that the Lord is doing in this place and his people, and we are excited about the word of God. We bless the Lord on this day. Let's go to him in prayer. Father God, in heaven, hallowed would be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father God, we thank you and we acknowledge you, Lord God. We trust you, Lord God. We know you, Lord God. We are thankful that you are the everlasting Father, that you are the Prince of Peace, that you are the finisher of our faith, Lord God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for your ministers, for your pastors, for your prophets, for your body, for all your people, Lord God, we give you thanks. We bless you on this day, Lord God. We are thankful that you woke us up early this morning, Lord God, that you gave us strength in our bodies and you clothed us in our right minds, Lord God. We are thankful, Lord God, that you continue to lead, guide, and direct us, Lord God. We are thankful, Lord God, that you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord God. Right now, Lord God, we ask that you would cast out, Lord God, everything that is within us, that is not pleasing to your sight, Lord God. Cast it out, Lord God, into the sea of forgiveness, Lord God, that you will remember it no more, Lord God, that we may again walk before you, Lord God, and be like perfect, Lord God. We thank you and we bless you and we acknowledge you, Lord God, and we love you, and we just can't give you thanks enough on this day, Lord God. We thank you in Jesus' name, and we say, Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. All right. So as you know, we are here at the Gift from God Worship Center on Fridays at 6 p.m. We are here on Sundays at 1 p.m. And we are eagerly awaiting our event that is upcom upcoming on, on October the 23rd at 1 p.m. We are calling it a gospel ogie. Well, we want you to just come on out and enjoy yourself. And if the mic is open and you got a song on your heart, mind, spirit that you want to share with the people or that you just want to sing praises to the Lord, Come on out and fellowship with us on October the 23rd at 1 p.m. Also, our next Bible conference is upcoming on March the 5th, 2022. It will be right here at the Gift of God Worship Center at 24 Colonial Downs Place in Alberta, Virginia. So right here will be our next Bible conference. Here's say controversy, and truth. We bless you. Um, next, we um, want to know if there's anyone that have any other announcements. If you have any songs, 
any testimonies, anything on your heart's mind spirit that you would like to share with us. And if you're watching via the YouTube, our comment section is available. So we ask that if you have any comments, any prayer requests, you know, you can use that for, for, for those sort of things. And um, please make your comments respectable to the Lord, you know. So, um, and if you would like to get prayer, again, we are here on Fridays at 6 p.m. And Sundays at 1 p.m. And you may also send your correspondence to us again at the Gift from God Worship Center, 24 Colonial Downs Place, Alberta, Virginia, 23821. Also, if you would like to support our ministry or give us, or you should get the given, however you want to say it, you may do so by using that cash app at dollar sign GFG Bible Conference. Dollar sign GFG Bible Conference. We bless the Lord. The floor is open. those things 
which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Verse 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Verse 6. And have made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. Verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. The Almighty. Ain't that something to get excited about on today? That was the New Testament reading in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, Amen. verses 3 through 8. And verse 3, one more time. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Amen. Amen. Let's get the Lord a hand of praise.
want to thank you. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to keep God alone today. Praise Amen. Him. We're always thankful that the Lord gives us uh, eyes to see, eyes to see. Ears, to hear, ears to hear, and the breath of life to be able to be among the living. Amen. So we want to continue to thank Him and continue to keep lifting up His holy name. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so we are working on today, uh, Mystery Babylon. All right. We just did the abominations of desolation, mm -hmm. and now we down to Mystery Babylon. But we're going to start with Acts chapter 6. Acts chapter 6, we're going to start by that verse 8. Acts chapter 6, verse 8. Bless the Lord. Amen. Acts chapter 6, verse 8. Uh-huh. And Stephen, full of faith and power, uh -huh. did great wonders and miracles among the people. Uh-huh. Verse 9. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, mm -hmm. which is called the synagogue of the Libertines, uh -huh. and Cyrenians Cyren uh -huh. and Alexandrians of them, of Sicil Sicilia uh -huh. and of Asia, right. disputing with Stephen. Uh -huh. They disputing with Stephen about his faith, about his belief. The Lord said even in the end times, the people are gonna cleave to you with what? Flatteries. flatteries. Mm -hmm. They're gonna cleave to you with flatteries because they're gonna do what? They're gonna challenge your faith 
in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at now. Right. We've been teaching all those week what? The book of Revelations. Just giving you an insight on where we are. If you're still living today, mm -hmm. you're still walking among the living, and you getting ready to watch TV sometime today, mm -hmm. or cook some sometimes today, mm -hmm. that means what? You are not raptured. Right. That means you're still here. Mm -hmm. Your rapture has not happened yet. So my job is to do what? To continue you to believe in Jesus Christ and to walk by faith. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. Give me one more of that. Verse 10. Acts chapter 6, verse 10. Uh-huh. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Uh-huh. So even when the people come against you, if you're walking by faith in Jesus Christ, because once you receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost, you're going to be as wise as the serpents and as harmful as the doves. Mm -hmm. That's what Lord said to us on today. Mm -hmm. Your wisdom is going to be past mm -hmm. their educational understandings. Mm -hmm. It's going to be way past that. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to figure it out. Right. And I'm still trying to figure out how all these ministers do not understand what's going on. I'm almost about to believe that they was uh, went ones. Went ones. They are went ones. The Lord said they went, but they won't sin. Oh. Almost okay. as if someone has taken them and put them in charge. Mm -hmm. But they're not fully convinced of Jesus Christ. It wasn't given to them by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So that's why maybe that's why a lot of these pastors are not keeping the charge of Jesus Christ by faith. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times I could go to a church and somebody might see my teaching there. They might put me in a place. Mm -hmm. But am I called of God? Or are you putting me there because I'm there every day? Mm -hmm. I just had the same thought the other day about uh, ministers. Uh -huh. I think what had happened is I saw a person. I saw a person that had had put their put their put like minister in the front of their name or something. Uh -huh. And I don't know. I just think about where well, people might think is weird stuff sometimes. But I was just thinking about that same thing that you just said. Like, mm -hmm. I saw the, the title in front of their names, and then I wondered if the person is saying that they're a minister because man said that they was, right. or because God had sent them. Anointed just like you, them. Yeah. Anointed them to preach the gospel. It's yes. a big difference. Yeah. That's why the Lord always tell me to do what? Look for what? The fruit tree. Mm-hmm. Look at the fruit tree of the people. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the angels judging you by. What? Your fruit tree is mm -hmm. going to make what? A mark. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a sign on you saying Christ. Not going to be no cross. Not going to be 777. They're going to know that you mock of God or you're not. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord keeps saying, only a few people are going to find this thing. Mm -hmm. That's why you see all the counselors, even right here with Stephen, a man of God, that we know full of faith, look at all the people coming against him. Mm -hmm. You got all these people coming against Stephen, who is a man of God. Mm -hmm. Which verse are we on? Six, you don't just have six, so... 
Acts chapter 6. Verse 11. Uh-huh. Then they sub suborn men. Suborn. Uh -huh. Then they suborn men uh -huh. which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous uh -huh. words against Moses uh -huh. and against God. Uh-huh. Verse 12. And they stirred up the people. They said he spoke what against Moses? Blasphemy words. It wasn't blasphemy words against Moses. It was blasphemy words against their understanding of the book of Moses. Mm -hmm. That's why they saw it as blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 12. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. Uh -huh. And came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council. Uh-huh. Verse 13, and set up false witnesses. Uh-huh. They did what? Set up false witnesses. They set up false witnesses. Tried to make people think that the man of God did not know what? What he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Everything in order to make revelation, you must walk by faith. Amen. I don't know how to keep telling people that. Mm-hmm. You must walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Just like when the Lord sent the deaf angel through the time of Moses them. They didn't have no military suit on for no chemical weapons. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any kind of mass or anything. They was what? They was saved by what? The blood of Jesus Christ. That's the only thing going to save you now in Revelation. Amen. Just like we said with the uh, with James. You're going to have to have faith. Mm -hmm. Or it's impossible to please them. The Hebrews said that what? They died. What, how? In, in faith. faith. Mm -hmm. James said you got to have faith. Mm -hmm. Hebrews said they died. What? In faith. And Revelation saying you're gonna die what? Without faith. You're gonna die without faith. If nothing can save us now. We have all come through the classroom. We have all read the word of God. We have all been brought to the cross. The Lord said the whole gospel will go out throughout the whole world. Then what? The end going to come. We have all been through the classes. We have all quoted the scriptures. We are now approaching the end of the second coming of Jesus Christ. You will not make this without faith. Plain and simple. My people perish for what? Lack of understanding. For a lack of knowledge. You must walk in faith at the end of the grace. At the end of the grace. You must be walking by faith. Nothing can save you now. Mm -hmm. Nothing can save you. The Lord said these tribulations are going to be as what? That has never been on earth before. You ain't hiding in no cave. You're not going to claw yourself up in a car. You're not going to hide in the chimney. <laughs> You're not going to go get under the bridge because you think it's safe. You're only going to survive by what? By faith. by faith. I don't know how to keep saying it. That's what the Lord is pushing me to now. Get the people in faith or they're going away from you. 
then go on out of here. Give me Revelation 17 real quick. Let's look at this mystery of Babylon. I ain't going to keep out about a few more minutes. Revelation chapter 17. 17 verse 2. Revelation chapter 17 verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Uh -huh. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Give me verse 1 first. Verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels uh -huh. which had the seven vials. Uh-huh. had what? The seven vials. How I just say you gonna make it through this thing? By faith. By faith and faith only. I don't know how to express this to people. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels uh -huh. which had the seven vials. Uh-huh. And it talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, mm -hmm. I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore uh -huh. that sitteth upon many waters. The great whore that sitteth, what she said at? Upon many, many waters. waters. What do that mean? That she all over the earth. That she was covering all over the earth. She is called Mystery Babylon. Some say Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. Not ancient Babylon. Babylon. Not the old ancient Babylon about in the Bible, but mystery Babylon, he's saying. Mm -hmm. We're talking about mystery Babylon today. Mm -hmm. Let me have some more. Verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. They did what? Committed fornication. How can you commit fornication with a spiritual Babylon? Um, well, when we think about what the fornication is, uh -huh. it's like, for us, physically, it's uh -huh. like sex without outside of marriage. Right. So, if you think about it spiritually, we're supposed to be married to Christ. You're married to Christ. We're married to Christ, so and fornication if, with the mystery Babylon uh -huh. is doing everything that's out of the order of God. Right. So, you, you sit with mystery Babylon. As if you was what? In love. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I like that. You with Mr. In Babylon as if you in love with what? In love and in lust. In love <laughs> with money and the things of the world. Amen. You in love with Mr. In Babylon, the great. She is what? Ancient. Says she ancient, she say. <laughs> <laughs> she says she got at least a good what? A good, you say you can deal with business with Babylon? She says she got a what? A good 6,000 years on you. Mm -hmm. At least that. Mm -hmm. Give me some more. Verse 2. Uh -huh. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, uh -huh. and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk uh -huh. with the wine of her fornication. They made what? Drunk. Drunk. That means the Lord, sometimes when he talked about the folks was drunk, he said, yeah, you drunk, but not with wine. Mm -hmm. You're drunk with what? Sin. You're so drunk with sin that you're staggering all over the place. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what righteousness is. Mm -hmm. You're drunk, but not with wine. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say confusion too. Uh -huh. it's, in, it's in the same thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going. 
Verse 3. <clears throat> so he carried me away uh -huh. in the spirit into the wilderness. Uh -huh. And I saw a woman set upon a scarlet colored beast. Uh -huh. Full of names of blasphemy. You saw a woman set upon what? A scarlet, a scarlet color beast that we've been talking about here at the Gift from God Worship Center. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit uh -huh. into the wilderness. And I saw a woman set upon a scarlet colored beast uh -huh. full of names of blasphemy, uh -huh. having seven heads and ten horns. Uh -huh. Seven heads and ten horns. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to the meaning of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Them seven horns is what? Ten horns. Seven kings. Keep going. Let's read a little bit more. Verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Uh -huh. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Uh-huh having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations uh -huh. and filthiness of her fornication. Now how was he able to see her? He said he was carried away in what? In the spirit. In the spirit. That's why he was able to see her. Keep going. Verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written. She got a name written mm -hmm. on her forehead. Just like Christ got when he come, he going to have a name on his what? On his thigh. Or we might say his vesture. Mm -hmm. He going to have a name that no man know what his name is. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm getting ready to go back over a teaching there about the name of Jesus and the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And what God's name was before it was translated mm -mm. into English. Mm -mm. Amen. Keep reading. Verse 5. <clears throat> and upon her forehead was a name written, uh -huh. Mystery, uh -huh. Babylon the Great, uh -huh. the mother of harlots uh -huh. and abominations of the earth. She was what? A mystery Babylon. The mother, that means she what? Founded it. Mm -hmm. She's the mother of it. Mm -hmm. Like she almost had to begin another study. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Satan. That was Satan. Mm -hmm. At the beginning when he did what? Caused Adam and Eve to fall. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Revelation chapter 17 verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints uh -huh. and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Uh -huh. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Uh -huh. Verse 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Uh -huh. I will tell thee the mystery of the woman uh -huh. and of the beast that carrieth her, uh -huh. which hath the seven heads uh -huh. and the ten horns. Uh -huh. He said, I'm getting ready to tell you what? About her. The mystery of her. Mm. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Why are you marveling at this thing? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman. Mm -hmm. Give me verse 8. Verse 8. The beast that thou sawest was and is not. Uh huh. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. The beast going to do what? She going to come from where? The bottomless pit. The bottomless pit. So that tell you right there, it ain't what? It ain't no antichrist man. Ain't no antichrist man. Mm -hmm. They're coming up out of the what? The bottomless, bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 8. The beast that thou sowest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, uh -huh. and go into perdition. Uh -huh. 
and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, uh -huh. whose names were not written in the book of life uh -huh. from the foundation of the world. That's why we're saying here now, well, I'm trying to tell you that you need to start walking by faith. If you do not walk by faith, it's because your name is not written in the book from the foundation. You're not going through this thing. Your name is not written. So I'm not marveled at some people not follow what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You're not written in this thing. Right. Scary. Scary. I don't even know about my children. Mm -hmm. This thing is frightening. I'm seeing thousands of people die over my lifetime. Mm -hmm. We pray they what? They made it. Right. Lord, he looking to see you. They say they're going to wonder what? Was your name even written in that? You didn't make this thing. Frightening. I get chills. Talk about not walking in a right way with God. Talk about going, doing what some of these pastors doing. I'm trying to tell them about faith. They try to tell me what to do. How to stay safe. I'm trying to tell you how to live. Eternal land. Give me eight. Verse eight. Give me the chapter book and verse. Oh, it's just a fear that says over me when I start reading in this book. Huh? <laughs> it's a fear that says over me when I start reading in this book. All this way. Because you know, I I hope I'm in a in a right way with God. Uh huh. And it's my desire to be in the right way uh -huh. with God. But woe to them. That don't even give God a second uh -huh. thought. Well, we just went over all those people that uh -huh. went against Stephen. They had the books of Moses. They had the books of Moses. They had the posture. They had the scrolls. Uh -huh. But yet still they stoned Stephen and made false accusations because he was written mm -hmm. in the Lamb's Book of Life. Mm -hmm. He was written. Mm -hmm. That's why when people tell me, say, John, well, you, you walk around without no mask on, you see all these folks die. If you read these scriptures right here, the Lord said these people was what? Martyrs for Christ. Mm -hmm. Them people was martyrs. They died without what? Fear. They kept the faith. They kept the faith. Until the end. They endured to the end. Mm -hmm. And most of the people got the Bibles and stuff in their hands don't even understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. This thing's strange just to open it up and read it. You just read in Revelation said those that keep the order, keep the word. Mm -hmm. Read that for me again real quick. Revelation chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 1 real quick. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, uh -huh. to shew unto his servants uh -huh. things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. That's what we're reading right now. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Uh huh. Verse 3. Blessed. Blessed what? Blessed. Uh huh. Is he that readeth and they that hear the uh -huh. words of this prophecy. Blessed is he that can read this thing mm -hmm. with understanding. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord said. All you're getting, get what? Get understanding. Get understanding. You're reading a Bible with no understanding about what your order mm -hmm. is. 
You read this for your order. And you got to follow it. Mm -hmm. Even into death. That's why God said, if you don't hate your mother, your brother, your sister, your child, you can't even be a disciple. Mm. The army got this thing that says, be no do. Uh-huh. Be no do. Mm. You can't make this thing. You can't make it. Mm. You can't make the Lord say, if any man come after me, let him first do what? Deny himself. Deny. If you deny yourself, that means you ain't worried about your life. Right. If you deny yourself, or if you just saying, mm -hmm. I deny my life, mm -hmm. but not put forth a what? A fruit tree. Any Christian right now should not be afraid to die. Amen. No Christian. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. Unless you're just talking about scripture and not, and these scriptures not in you. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about them, they ain't in you. Ain't no way you prepare for absent from the body, present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And still in fear. It ain't happening. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. Give me Revelation 17. We got a couple more minutes. Revelation chapter 17. Uh-huh. Verse 8. Uh-huh. The beast that thou sawest was and is not. Uh-huh. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. Uh-huh. And go into perdition. Mm -hmm. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder. Whose names were not written in the book of life uh -huh. from the foundation of the world. Uh huh. They want to ask each other, man, your name written in the book of life? Mm. Your name written in there? Mm. Is your name written in there? Mm. How you know who name written in there? How you know? Mm. Keep going. I tell you what, all these folks I see running around, I can almost guess that name. Man, no way your name. Is. Ain't no way you follow and cry. Ain't no way you say you a possible bitch. I said, man, ain't no way possible. You say you a bitch, you got three. Ain't no way possible. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see you got 3,000 members and afraid to die. I don't see it. I don't, I don't get it. Bishop got 15 churches. Scared of that. I don't see it. I don't get it. And I'm new to this. That's why the Lord, I'm new to this because the Lord said in the end time, he's going to pour out his what? His spirit on your sons and daughters. Amen. I don't call myself all that stuff. I know what I do. I got the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is the what? Is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm a die in faith. Amen. I know that much. Getting up on the corona, booster shot, technical shots, EFG shots, or whatever else they got coming. <laughs> You're going to die in faith of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's how you go away from him. Mm -hmm. If not, I don't know where you're going to end up at. Because the Lord, you get that to, to the kingdom of God, the Lord will say, what? I never know you. Amen. And then when I went back on the scripture and I looked at it and read it, I said, God, these preachers you talking to. Mm. Give me one more. Mm. Revelation chapter 17, verse 8. Uh-huh. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, uh -huh. and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, mm -hmm. and go into perdition. Mm -hmm. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, uh -huh. whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, uh -huh. when they behold the beast that was uh -huh. and is not, and yet is. Okay, keep going. Verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. Uh -huh. The seven heads are seven mountains. Uh -huh. On which the woman sitteth. Uh huh. Keep going. Verse 10. And there are seven kings mm -hmm. 
five are fallen, mm -hmm. and one is, and the other is not yet come. Mm -hmm. And when he cometh, he must continue a mm -hmm. short space. Uh -huh. Verse 11. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, mm -hmm. and is of the seven, and goeth in perdition. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, mm -hmm. which have received no kingdom as yet, uh -huh. but received power as kings one hour with the beast. Okay, keep going. Verse 13. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Then shall, these shall make war with the lamb, mm -hmm. and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords, mm -hmm. and king of kings. And they that are with him are called, and chosen, and faithful. Verse 15. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sowest, where the horse sitteth, uh -huh. are peoples, uh -huh. and multitudes, uh -huh. and nations, uh -huh. and tongues. Okay. Verse 16. Uh -oh. And the ten horns uh -oh. which thou sowest upon the beast, uh -oh. these shall hate the uh -oh. whore. They're going to do what? They ride them, but they're going to what? <laughs> hate her. They're going to hate those ride. <laughs> They're going to hate those rags. <laughs> well, get off of you now. <laughs> they're going to hate the rags. Oh, wow. Why are they going to hate them? Keep going. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore uh -huh. and shall make her desolate uh -huh. and naked. They're going to make her what? Desolate They're going to make naked. her desolate. <laughs> Because they're going to come back into what? The knowledge of God. And they're going to desolate her because she's trying to make them do desolate like we talked about last week mm -hmm. with the things of God. They're trying to make the people do desolations. Mm -hmm. But they're going to do desolations to her. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh -huh. these shall hate the whore, uh -huh. and shall make her desolate uh -huh. and naked, uh -huh. and shall eat her flesh, uh -huh. and burn her with fire. Uh -huh. Verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts, uh -huh. for God hath put in their hearts uh -huh. to fulfill his will. To fulfill the most high God rules. The most high God. <laughs> in the kingdom of men. Wow. Bless the me. most high God rules. Mm. In the kingdom of men. His will be done. His will will be done. I don't mm. care. Look, if I'm telling you that by faith so you can get into that kingdom, that's good luck. If you do anything, I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> the Lord said the world going to be preached throughout the whole earth and then the end going to come. And then we're going to look to see if your name was even written in the book from the beginning. Mm. Might not even be for you. I don't even think we're going to know, Pastor, because it's gonna, if they blot it out, we will have no remembrance of them. Might not. Mm. Be just like not even knowing some children you, you never had. Right. That's crazy. Keep going. Mm. Verse 17. Uh -huh. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will uh -huh. and to agree uh -huh. and give their kingdom unto the beast uh -huh. until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city uh -huh. which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon on today. Mm -hmm. I ain't finished with it though. Mm -hmm. Can I have a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does this mean that I'm need to get out of the church? <laughs> now it, it depends on what do you mean by that get that. out the church? <laughs> right. Because I've talked to people about this on the internet. I've been I've been thinking about that. And I've been thinking about it, and it, I mean, this year time right here, 
is I'm I'm keep hearing it. Uh huh. You know, and I mean, it just seemed like I'm not really learning anything. Uh huh. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I uh, um, can I speak, Pastor? No, finish her. She asked the question. It's, I mean, it just seemed like when I went today. It, it just seemed like I'm not getting anything. I uh -huh. mean, uh, whatever I get, it just, I don't know, it just moved away from me. Uh huh. And it don't really like it would stay. So it, it must be something that I don't need to be hearing. Uh huh. So we can't say. Get out of the church. Right. I ain't mean the church. I mean the building. Uh -huh. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. The well, you, you, you really shouldn't do that either. Right. Because each one of us, so if you somewhere that you not feel like you being fed, then the Lord said, well, then maybe it's time for you to start feeding. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for you to start giving the people something or make representations or make something about, you know, to whoever that you want to teach on certain things. Because mm -hmm. here we try to teach everything. Mm -hmm. So if you're not feeling like you're learning something, Dale, um, maybe you should make suggestions about things they should talk about. Because I know a lot of places just got Sunday school books. And they just go through the books. Mm -hmm. We don't need books because we got this one book. Amen. And it's full of books. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need a lot of books. I like that. All the stories I need is to follow these examples mm -hmm. of how I need to make it to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I don't need to hear about Mary Jane Sue uh, time with the farmhouse and how they managed to make pigs and cows. I need to know what I need to do to be safe. Amen. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm really <clears throat> talking about. I mean, it, it just seems like I'm not really hearing, or I'm not receiving. And I mean, I'm gonna talk to God about stuff like that, and it just seems. Well, like I can't that. say what out of ministries do. But that's why we stick strictly here to teaching mm -hmm. and we always open session mm -hmm. for people to ask questions or bring up any topic because we don't want nobody to leave out of here mm -hmm. with a question in the back of their mind. Right. So I will say to a person, never leave the church, right. the church of Christ. Right. Because we were just well, talking I about mean, that, I know that last week. We right? don't never leave the church of Christ. But then <laughs> sometimes I'm not trying to leave Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm saying is it's just that sometimes that it might be me, you know, feeling like I'm feeling uh -huh. because uh, something that's going on with me. Uh -huh. It might be something going on with me. It, it couldn't, it might not be what I'm learning. It might be something going on with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying now that I've been talking to God about this situation. I mm -hmm. stay in my room and I study and I try to show myself approved. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes the things that I have learned, it just seemed like things will come when I when I want it. Mm -hmm. The word will come when I want it. So I mean that's it that means that God is hearing. Mm -hmm. What I'm, what I'm examining for, right. you know, the things that I I want to happen, uh -huh. because when I sometimes I way I feel feel, and mm -hmm. I will ask God a question, and sometimes it don't he don't answer right then, but then sometimes he'll come back later and answer that question. Right. Well, that that's a good sign that you got a connection. Right. Yeah, that's a good yeah, sign. I, I know I got a. Uh, saying that he he talks to me uh -huh. and he walks with me because sometimes I don't feel like doing nothing. 
Right. Really? But still, I get up and go and do it. Right. Yeah, but what we're saying here is that the Lord specified his people. Yeah, he I used words like peculiar, mm -hmm. planted like a tree, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like unmovable, mm -hmm. Amen. you know, having to uh, First Timothy, Second Timothy chapter 4, enduring afflictions, mm -hmm. you know, enduring the things that the people are saying against you, mm -hmm. even how he's saying how some of his people might even be put in prison. Mm -hmm. For what? For his name's sake. Yeah. So these things are signs mm -hmm. of those that follow after Christ. Mm -hmm. So we have to like um, I always tell people try to always if you, you know get into some type of teaching sessions so you could be like open about you know what you really need to be doing mm -hmm. what you really need to be hearing and once hearing doing mm -hmm. you know more or less than just coming to a service just to say you went to the service and then go home mm -hmm. you yeah. gotta be a doer of the word yeah you can say what you thought this meant uh-huh you can, you can get a clarification you can get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh -huh. And, you know, we can't cease from not assembling in ourselves. Right. In the house yeah, of prayer. Know you know. But, um, right. So you can't leave either one. Might, I'm not going to tell nobody to leave a church because you don't do that. I mean, I've left a couple. Right. But I left to keep from tensions, mm -hmm. you know, going on because it won't really that I was looking for them to teach me. Mm -hmm. Because I already knew the word of God. Mm -hmm. The Lord just sent me there as a servant mm -hmm. to help them. Mm -hmm. But they didn't want to help. Mm -hmm. So he told me, okay, move on. So I went somewhere else to do the same thing there. They didn't want to help either because they felt like I knew too much without them teaching it to me. Mm -hmm. So they didn't feel like they had any control. Mm -hmm. So I ended up having to leave there and come here. Can I talk about, Yes. Um, I think it was Elijah. Uh -huh. He was the one that was under the tree, right? Right. So when Elijah was under the tree, you know, he was getting fed uh -huh. by the Lord. He, uh -huh. had the, he had the little stream there where he could get water. Right. The raven came and gave him food, right? Uh -huh. So you don't know a raven that will feed you. It probably want to eat you. So the raven came and gave him food. And uh -huh. then there was a time. So it's a time and season for everything. So the, the time came when the little stream dried up. Uh -huh. And the raven didn't come and bring him no food. Why I do that though? Because the Lord is saying, it's time to move on now. It's time to move, I gotta get you out of the yeah. spot. So we, we, we gotta stay in a right way with the Lord. Uh -huh. So we gotta stay under his covering. So we can't be obligated, if I might say. Uh -huh. I, we can't be obligated to people. Uh -huh. We have to be faithful to the Lord. That depends on where you're at. If you say obligated, because it depends on if you're a pastor, shepherd, yeah. or something like that, too. Yeah, yeah. So if you're if and you're then that, also if we become evangelists, you're still yeah. a little bit obligated to the people, too. Yeah. A little bit, you know. Yeah. But I know what you're saying. Yeah. So so you, you can't. What I'm saying is that, like what we used to say when we first started, don't put limits on God. Right. Don't put limits on God, on God where He want to take take uh -huh. you, where He want to elevate you to, and you know just stay mm -hmm. in a mindset with Him. Right. And like my pastor give me, he all uh, he oftentimes let me come up mm -hmm. and give my own message. What well, God is giving he, it to you, He giving it to you through me. I mean, let me speak on it is what uh -huh. I'm saying. Okay. You you give me a platform where I could where I could speak on what right. the Lord gives me. Right. Amen. You know, so He encourages us. To have our own ministry, uh -huh. you know, and not just be yeah. Because you, you know, could, you stuck, could, you could, know. you could get here and learn so much. Because mm -hmm. I'm teaching a lot of stuff. Right. You can see by the charts, we don't be playing. Right. We serious business about God business. Right. So I'm pretty here to teach you all what you as much as the Lord give me to teach to you. Because I don't know all the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot I don't know. 
There's a whole lot of parables I'm still trying to figure. Mm -hmm. And the Lord ain't gave them all. But I'm following what he have given me, and then I'm giving that to the people. And then if they feel like they have outgrown this thing, mm -hmm. what you got to do then? Make full proof of thy own ministry. Yes. Because I'm here to teach you to go where? To Christ. Right. I teach teaching nobody here to follow me. Right. Everything here I'm teaching is about what? Right. Following Jesus Christ. And how to get to what? The kingdom. That's all I'm teaching here. But that's what he gave me to get to the people. Mm -hmm. This is how you get to the kingdom of God. And anybody ain't going to just walk in there because you want to walk in there. Mm -hmm. You ain't walking in there talking you paying at the door either. No, you are got to be what? Chosen. Amen. Or mocked with the mock of God. And have come out of the world system. Not a part of any kind of political parties. I ain't entangling myself with the things of the world. I don't care how much folks hate me. I passed one yard um, on my way here. And they had like maybe 10, 10 different signs up in their yard. And I'm like, you can tell like just what people display on right. their yards, like what they're about. Right. You know, it's the same as, as you standing right there and I'm looking at your fruit tree. Right. So sometimes their homes and stuff portray with their fruit trees. I ran so, right by your house until you're a Democrat. Right, exactly. I ain't got to ask you now. I don't need, they know your forehead. Mm -hmm. I ran right by your house until you're Republican. Mm -hmm. I can look right at your they ain't nothing to the neighbor Christ. Anytime I can see you all up in grocery stores, Walmart, food on your air, well, no mask on, pot and swinging, dancing and jumping around, hip hop and stuff, and then come suddenly you don't show up at the church, your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's why you ain't coming. It's not spiritually decided to move you here. Ain't no Holy Ghost, damn. Them folks call Christ when they're in trouble. Folks ain't thinking about Jesus. Right. Folks trying to live life to the full and see how much money they can get for their dad. Trying to build a foundation for their children, they saying. The Lord is saying, every time I presented an opportunity for you to come into my house of prayer to get to know me, you had other plans. That's why that door opened. You so there won't be no plans. excuses. You don't go to God to my way. I can't find no church. They all, there ain't no such mess they closed. Some of them closed. They closed because they don't. Cause it ain't in them. They closed because they ain't sent of Christ. That's why they closed. Folks ain't got no faith. If somebody had pulled me out the street and, and, and put me in a church, I'd probably close up too because I don't, I don't care about that Christ. I'm just teaching because they pay me and teach it. When something happened, I'm going home. <laughs> I ain't paid to teach this. I'm called to teach it. Amen. That's why I ain't got no fear. Amen. That's why I don't worry about no coronavirus and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. When you called of God. Thank you, Lord God. It's going to be a different. You're going to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. And nobody got to put no mark on my forehead. Forehead, everywhere I go, say, John, I don't know what you about. I ain't got to ask you, do you take no shot? I listened to your video, Ted, you ain't took it. Mm -hmm. You're like, I can ride by your house, see them signs here, y'all tell you, Democrat. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to ask you. Right. So I'm just praying down, hopefully, that the people find their way fast. 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 You know, that's what I'm looking for. You got to find a way fast. The verse said, the time is at hand. The time is at hand. Mm -hmm. I ain't even got to be my mystery Babylon yet. Mm. But we see that mystery Babylon is Satan ruling over Everything. nations. Everything. Some scripture said he was the God of this what? 
world. Not parts of it. The whole thing. That's why I call mystery Babylon the great. And then it said what at the end? That what city? That great, great city. It's a great place. It's what is large. Sin of Babylon. As long as you serve Satan, you get all the things of the world, the same things he offered to Christ. As long as you serve Satan. Now, I can show you name probably not written well. In the book of life. I try to get it in if you can. I don't know how to help you. Mm. I tell you, do fall on your knee. Repent. Isaiah went to uh, Hezekiah. He said, you're going to die on your deathbed. Mm. He ain't going there to pray for him. He said, you're going to die on your deathbed. Mm. Well, John, you should pray for folks. I said, no, you're going to die on your deathbed. Mm. What's your job now? If you don't know the word of God, what are you going to do? Nothing. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Okay, we beat me in the name of Jesus. You still go down in deathbed. <laughs> the only way to get out of this one is do what? Confess. Turn your face to the wall. Mm -hmm. And humble yourself and pray. And cry out to the God. Let God know that you're willing to do what? Change your life. Mm -hmm. You're going to change your life today. Amen. Let us pray. Mm. Bless the Lord. Lord God, we want to thank you again on today, Lord God, for another word, Lord God. Lord. Lord God, I want to thank you for your Holy Ghost Spirit, Lord God, that continue to lead, guide, Lord God, direct us, Lord God, to all truth, Lord God, on today. You, Lord, God. Lord God, I want to thank you also, Lord God, that your Holy Ghost Spirit, Lord God, keep a watch over our houses, Lord God. Yes. Keep a watch over us, Lord God. Put a hedge of protection around every ear that hear the voice of me right now, Lord God. We ask in Jesus' name. Lord God, we also ask that you will cast every ear that hear right now, Lord God, sins, Lord God, into the sea of forgiveness, that you remember them no more on today, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we just want to continue to keep lifting up your holy name, Lord God, and press it, Lord God. We're going to press, Lord God, on today. We're going to press, Lord God, on today to the high call of God. We're going to become models, Lord God, for your name's sake. We're going to die for the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, on today. Lord God, we're going to pick up our crosses, Lord God, on today. We're going to pick it up, Lord God. No, we're going to pick it up, Lord God, but we're going to follow after you, Lord God, on today. Lord God, we just want to thank you for all these blessings, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. All these blessings, Lord God, you said when there's two or three gathered together, you will be in the midst, Lord God. Lord God. We want to thank you and praise your holy name, Lord God. Continuously, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory Amen. be to the Almighty God. Amen. Praise him on the day. Praise that we all make the kingdom of God. Amen. Because I'm afraid of those stained names. Mm. Even though I believe I got a nine and a half percent chance of making it. <laughs> Still scared of this thing. The Lord said, you don't know what the end going to be. You got to stay what? Humbled. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All right.